Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are going to be taking an in-depth look into all the things you might have missed in the scene between uh, Avon Barksdale and Marlo Stanfield in The Wire Season 5 Episode 2 Unconfirmed Reports. Now this scene has a ton to unpack in it and there's a lot of little details as there is with everything in The Wire that you might have missed. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into it and uh, let me know in the comments if I miss anything. Also, if you like what I'm doing here, uh, this is a new channel, but please uh, like, share, subscribe. Really appreciate that. I notice uh, YouTube has got a ton of content, but not, not enough people talking about The Wire, so uh, I want to change that. All right, but without further ado, let's start up the scene. Number two. Already, we got something. The guard right here, you just heard, says number two when Marlo walks in the room. This is important. It's putting him in his position. He's number two in this situation. That ain't there by accident. Nothing in the wire is. Right there, you can see Marlo. He's looking around a little bit. He's a little nervous now. I'm not going to say he's shook. He doesn't look shook, but he he is not as confident as he was a second ago when he thought he was going to see Boris. I mean, Sergey. <laughs> little side note here when Avon says surprise uh, if you've watched through this 10 times like I have there is no surprise to this but we haven't seen Avon Barksdale since the season 3 finale this is season 5 episode 2 and he did think he was going to see Boris so this is a, a surprise and a welcome one <laughs> my man Sergey thought we should talk first Talk about what? That's on you, young. Whatever business you're trying to do through the Russian, you gotta go through me first. Yeah? Yeah. Cause up in this bitch here, I'm 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 what you might consider an authority figure. Still the king. You know, everybody gotta get my help or ask my advice, like on all kinds of shit. Sergey stepped to me the other day saying this nigga Marlo, who you don't even know. Marlo, who we don't even know. Now, if you've watched this show, which I assume you have, because why else would you be watching this video, you know how Marlo cares about his uh, cred in the street. You know that's a little bit of a blow to his ego right there. Marlo, who we don't even know. That's a, that's a little bit of a slight for uh, my man Marlo here. Just be sending him cash money to get on his visiting list. So then he asked me if I knew Marlo. I tell him, hell yeah, I know Marlo real well. You know, over West Side, everybody know everybody, right? <laughs> Let me help you find your tongue. You trying to get to the Russian. Nobody else in the entire show ever talked to Marlo Stanfield like this, or they would have found themselves in a vacant. But Avon, you know, he's the king. So you can get a line to his people. You're trying to get to the Greek motherfuckers because if you can, you want to cut proposition join all them other east side bitches out to connect. I mean, you a natural businessman, right? <laughs> but this is the thing, though. And he perfectly figures out Marlo's plan just from knowing he's coming there to talk to Boris. I mean, that's just... We watched through this show the first time I think a lot of people are like, oh, man, I want to see Stringer run this, you know. Because, I mean, Stringer's a smart businessman. But really, if you go back through it, Avon always knows what's going on. Always. And I mean, you know, I'm with you on all that as far as it goes, you know. 
West Side definitely need to stick together, you know what I mean? And all the fuss about you coming at me, I say let bygones be bygones, but fuck all them East Side bitches. That's just the way I feel about it. I got nothing but love in my heart for West Side niggas, nothing but love. Of course, I mean, you know, I got to have my taste too. Of course. Figured that. So send my sister a hundred large, Shift and the next time you come to Jessup, it won't be my girl talking at you. My word on that. Now, this 100 large goes back to season one, episode nine. Oh, I forget the name of it. It's the one with the ball game, as you all remember, when Avon called out the ref because they they played him with not calling that play. Uh, Prop Joe won 100 grand off of Avon. And at, right after that, Omar come to Prop Joe and uh, gave him WeeBay's burner number to put Omar on the hunt on Avon. Quote Prop Joe, he said, not his day, is it? Now, this is Avon, uh, what, you know, four seasons later, getting his um, revenge for that. He's now extracting a hundred grand off of Marlo Stanfield, and he's also, by doing this, going to put Marlo on Prop Joe. Beautiful. That's the long game. A hundred large, huh? So what's up, man? What's up with you otherwise, you know? Uh, the game is a game. Always. I also like right there how Avon shuts it down. It's not a conversation. He's going to pay the money. And you got to remember, too, Avon and Marlo, they're both West Side, but season, season three, they were both vying for uh, corners. I want to say uh, Marlo was competing for him to be the king, but they were vying for corners. But right there, he's going to pay Avon this hundred grand, even though they're enemies. And it's important, not because he's going to get, you know, he's getting something out of it, but he takes Avon at his word that there, there's no dispute about it. He gives him the hundred grand. He will, he trusts Avon enough because he knows Avon's reputation and he knows his word. And everyone in the show will tell you, Avon's word is his word. He says something, that's what's going to happen. That's everything we've ever seen. It always comes to pass. I guess now McNulty's with this, uh, this, this county chick, but we're not going to get into that scene. Um. But anyway, that was my take on all the little things I noticed. Uh, if I missed anything or you think I'm wrong about something, comment down in the comment section. Uh, this, this show, The Wire, it, it has God, the writing is God tier. There is no show that has writing even close to as detailed as this. And every time I watch through it, I'm like, oh, I figured this all out. And I, you think you have every little, but every time I watch through it, I find something else. Uh, it has not failed to happen so far, and I guarantee you the next time I watch through it, same thing will happen again. All right, why am I not watching through? I, I'm gonna, I gotta be watching through this. Anyway, that's my commentary on it. Uh, I think that's a really great scene. It really showcases a lot. Um, uh, I think it's it's one of the better scenes in the wire. Um, now I'm just rambling. Anyway, leave your comments down in the comment section if you like the. Uh, subscribe to the channel I'm going to have more videos coming out about this and let's get some more people talking about this show because I'm not hearing you know the name anywhere in here and that's what everybody should be talking about is The Wire I mean there are other good shows I mean people will say like I don't know, like Boardwalk, Deadwood, Game of Thrones uh, just to name a couple I, I like all those shows I think a lot of those are good shows Sopranos or, you know, but none of them from a, a writing standpoint, from a story standpoint, a narrative, none of them hold a candle to the wire. But that's all I got. Uh, I'll see you all in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.